Today we're grinding Shadow Ho-Ho's and I'm very excited about it because they can be shiny, but I'm also excited to get my hands on some XL Rare candies during this time. We're currently at 448 of them. Hopefully we'll get a ton more, but since we're going to be going for like eight plus hours today, I'm probably not going to show you every single XL Rare candy we get during this time because I think it'll just take a lot of time to go through all of that. I'm going to be joining Jangles, Tommy, Moms, and Mitch today, so we have plenty of people to take this thing down and maybe just maybe we'll get lucky and get a really good one. I have now joined everybody. Hi, Tommy. How are you doing, buddy? Hey. And you know, we also have uh, Jangaloni and Cheese in the front. He's got his nice little hat on. We got moms over here. We also have somebody else who doesn't want to be in the video. That's perfectly fine. I'm not taking it personally or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're fighting the Ho-Ohs now. If you want to use rock types, it's a flying and a fire type. It's very, very weak to rock. And I think since it's not weather boosted, we're looking for a 2207. So hopefully we'll get that. And the first one is down. Let's see what we get from it. It is 2159. It's not terrible, I guess. And the first one is not a shiny for me. Anybody get a shiny turkey? No, no, a lot of no's. All right, great start. Did get a rare XL though. Y'all good, I didn't. We got the second one here. This one is really bad and it's not shiny. Anybody, nobody's getting shinies in here. This is ridiculous. 2160 something is what I think I saw and it's not golden. Yeah, 2168. Hey, you got a shiny. Congratulations. And a 2177. Number four is a 2130 something. It's not shiny. Got number five here. I think I saw 2108. This is really bad. And it's not shiny, so that's fine. But yeah, 2108, that's just 99 off the hundo. Cool. This one's no better. 2106, I think I saw. Not shiny. And yeah, 2106. Number seven is a 2119. It is not golden. Oh, 2113. Wait, did you get the shiny? Congratulations. This is 2162 as well. It's pretty decent. Mm. What about you, bud? No. All right. <laughs> now on number eight with a 2112, I think I saw. And it's shiny. All right. There we go. About time. About time. <laughs> I guess I can just stop now. But I mean, I'm happy. It's not the best. Best. It's definitely not something to be purified into anything good, but at least we have it for the collection. I have noticed I have not been getting a lot of rare XL candies from these raids, though. Let's take a look at this thing. It is a 9812. It's fine. <laughs> Max it out all the way, Jangles? Yeah, I got you. Let's do it. If I were to do that, it would be a 4179, which I believe is a lot lower than it can be. <laughs> Number nine is a 2144. Not back-to-back -back shinies. And still no XLs. Well, Tommy got a shiny. Congratulations. What did you get? 2121. Well, it's pretty cool. This one's a 2130-something, and it's not shiny, so at least you got it. Congrats, man. Thank you. Number 11 is a 2130-something. Yeah, it's a 2130, exactly. Not great. I've yet to see a really good one, though. We have had somebody in here who has 298s now, moms. I believe this is number 12. This is a 2094. It's not great and it's not shiny, but mom's got this shiny. Is it good? 2142. All right, well, I mean, it exists. Got number 13 here. 2186 is not bad, but it's not a shiny, unfortunately, but I think this is the best one I've gotten so far, so I'm not complaining. 2088 on this one. Not great and not shiny either. That's fine. I would rather it be better. Gonna be honest, I've completely forgotten like how many we've done so far, but this one isn't shiny and is a 2146. So far, nobody's been getting anything too great, except for moms. 2072, not great and not shiny either, and no XL so far. Apparently those have been lowered for shadow raids. I didn't know about that. So much for getting a whole bunch of those today. We're taking a little bit of a stretch break right now. We've done, I think, 17 ho-ohs. I don't think I've caught one of them. But other than that, we've done all right. We've gotten a shiny, which is cool, and apparently hop-ups in here. So maybe we've only done 16, because technically that hop-up should count. Let's just get rid of that so the number's correct. So yeah, I think we're on number 17 right here and hopefully we'll get lucky with some more stuff because when it comes down to XL rare candies we are not doing very good at all. I've only gotten one out of all those raids which is unfortunate but it is what it is obviously. I just didn't know that shadow raids didn't give you better chances. Anyways we should lobby up. And back in the truck with a 2142 that is not shiny. Did anybody get a shiny? No. No. Cool. I mean Mitch definitely got the shiny because he wasn't in the raid. All right, so apparently they're weather boosted now. I thought mine was decent at a 26 something, but somebody got a 27, 40 something. So obviously this is pretty terrible. 2664. This one's not great and it's not shiny. We haven't seen a shiny in a little bit, have we? Nobody has one. Jeez. Hello in the gas station real quick with the copyrighted music. Not shiny. 2677.
All righty, I had another stretch break for a little bit and we've managed to do 39 of these ho-ho's. Not bad all in all. Obviously the big one was our 15, 13, 14 that's somewhere in here, which was specifically this one right here, the 27, 43, which is pretty cool, you know? 15, 13, 14 is really good. Obviously I'd like to get a little better when it comes down to PVP, but not only did we get this, we got one a little later that was a 27, 15. This is a 13, 13, 13. So if I wanted to, I could purify this into a hundo. I'm not gonna do it right now because we're still gonna do a few more raids and maybe we'll get a hundo. But it's cool that we have this opportunity, even though I think I have two hundos and a shundo. So having a purified hundo would be interesting to add to the collection, but it's not necessary. But not only that, we have been doing party play the entire time, and I finally did 30 tasks for page three or four. We get ourselves an Alolan Raichu for the encounter. Could have been a shiny. It is a boosted shiny as well. And now we've caught it. I gotta say, though, it is so good to stand up. It's been a little bit. But this one was a 12, 15, 10. And now I'm afraid to see it, but I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit more after I claim the obviously encounter and stuff. So we get 3,000 dust, we get a Jolteon shirt, another Jolteon shirt, and a Jolteon. So for fun, we'll take a look at this thing. It is 11, 11, 12. That's fine. It's not supposed to be good or anything like that. But like I said, I'm a little bit worried that we're going to have to do 30 more for the last page. I feel like that's going to happen. And I was right. 30 more party challenges. And we have to catch 15 fire types, which we've been doing all day, basically, with these ho-ohs. Fantastic. Well, as you can clearly tell, it's gotten a little bit later now. We're done doing ho -Oh raids, and I'll show you how many we did by the end of this video, but we did quite a few of them, and I'm very happy about it. But not only that, we did do some leaders as well. You'll see a video about that a little later. But I do have some eggs that I want to do in this video. There is a chance that we will get the brand new Varum, and apparently it's a pretty decent chance, and that's also been boosted too. Apparently everything is on the same egg tier, which is pretty awesome. So number two here is a Volibee. I wouldn't mind getting a Hundo of that. I already have a Hundo Mandibuzz, which is apparently good for Ultra, but I would love to have the Volibi for Great League. But unfortunately, we just got a Larvitar. Out of everything, I would want Larvitar the least. It's a very common Pokemon. This one is a Pancham. Oh boy, please give me that Varum. There it is. Okay, cool. I'm so glad we got that. And there it is in the decks as well. Hopefully we got ourselves a good one. But to be honest with you, I don't know if it's really good for anything, but it would be cool to get a good one just in case. And hopefully some of those Solandits are going to turn out to be female because that's pretty rare. This is, ooh, we got a shiny, but still, we have yet to get ourselves the Sparkles. I don't know why they haven't fixed that yet. But let's see this one, it is another Varum. Okay, so we got two of them. Well, let's check the IVs on these things. We got a 699. I know that's not the Hundo, but it is a 141010, followed up by the Pancham. We've got another Volibee here. This Varum is a 101415. Maybe good for PvP, who knows? Then we also got this one, which is a male, followed up by the Larvitar. Then we have another Varum, which is an 111514. And then we've got ourselves another male Salandit, and that is everything. But I mean, that was a pretty good egg batch. Now, what I'm trying to do right now is actually do some routes and get some cells, and I'm hoping there's one right here, but it's looking like there isn't any right here right now. But it is what it is. I'm still going to keep doing them, and hopefully I'll get the three for the day. And I'm very happy to say that this is the last cell of the day, but this is also another milestone. We are now officially at 150 Zygarde cells, which is great, which means I only need 100 more to be able to fully transform one. I've said it millions of times, I'm not going to do the one I currently have because it's pretty bad, but it'll be good to keep them in case we ever do get to trade them, or we might even get another one down the road, or possibly even a shiny one. Though part of me feels like they might be saving that for Kalos Tour, which is going to be a very long time from now. It's still a cool accomplishment nonetheless, and I'm very happy that we finally did it. Well, I gotta say, today was a pretty fun day. Thank you again to Jangles, Mitch, Moms, and Tommy for all the raids we did together. Honestly, with all of them, it made it go by a lot faster. We didn't even need to use gems for a big portion of it, which was fantastic. Unless they had Solar Beam, then we had to do it. And in total, we have 46 of them caught, but I know that I had to run away from one to make another raid, and also two of them did get away from me, so in total, Total, that's 49 raids. But for the sake of simplicity, we'll just say it was 50. Why not, right? And then out of all of them, we had two of them that were good. We have this one right here, which is the 13, 13, 13, which is pretty fun. And then just underneath it, we have the 27, 43, which is the 15, 13, 14. I'm not going to purify this one. This is my best one. And we have enough XL rare candies to max it if I want to, but I don't want to just yet. I might be able to do a couple more. I could get lucky and get that hundo, though I kind of doubt it. But speaking of hundos, though, I think a 13, 13, 13 was born to become a hundo. It's 
literally the point of purification. It's gonna go up in two stats for everything, so we are going to have a purified Hundo Ho-Oh. So that'll be pretty fun, I guess, right? So there we go, purified Hundo Ho-Oh. And it's going to be a 15, 15, 15, yep, 27, 59. When you purify them and they're not level 25, they become level 25, but this one was weather boosted and already a level 25, so it didn't really gain much. And here is all of my Hundo Ho-Ohs. I got this one from a raid a little while ago. Not wanting to load though, for whatever reason. Come on, buddy, you can do it. I believe in you, there we go. But not only do we have this one, we have the non-weather boosted Hundo. We ended up getting the Shundo from Milo, which was really cool. And now we have a purified Hundo. Just need two more and we could have a whole set of Hundo Ho-Ohs for any battle. And when it comes down to XL Rare Candies, we only gained four out of those 50 raids, which is pretty ridiculous. But apparently it might've been wrong and XL Rare Candies were not really boosted from these raids, which seems a little weird, but it is what it is. I will say though, that it is a little strange that we only got one shiny out of 50 raids, which is really bad. It's supposed to be like a one in 20 odd chance, but I'm glad that we at least got the one. Maybe we'll get more, but if not, all I really wanted was one for the shiny shadow decks. I mean, I'm kind of working on that, so it's cool to have it. And since I haven't done it yet, let's get rid of frustration on this bad boy. Boom, boom, there we go. It has Brave Bird. Now, before we wrap up the video though, I do want to evolve one of my Varooms here. I have the 629, which is the better one, the 1115, 14, and then we've got the 10, 14, 15. Both of these, from what I saw, aren't really good for PVP as it's evolution, so I, at the end of the day, I guess we'll just do the better one. But before we could do that, we still need to give it two more candies, so let's do that real quick. One, two, there we go, perfect. And now we can get our dex entry Vavaroom, I think it's what it's called. It's an interesting looking Pokemon. Basically, this is like a single cylinder engine, and then it turns into a multi-cycle. Man, I can't even say the word right now. I've tried this like three times. But anyways, there it is, a really cool Pokemon. It's interesting. I don't know how useful it will be when it comes down to PvP. I doubt that it will ever be a raid attacker, but it does have interesting moves. Poison Jab and Poison Spray aren't bad. And if we go to the Elite Fast TM real quick, it can also learn Lick. And if we go to the Elite Charge TM, it can learn Gunk Shot, Gyro Ball, Overheat, and Acid Spray, obviously. So it's an interesting Pokemon with an interesting typing. Steel and Poison is not something you see very often. In fact, I think this might be the first time it's ever happened. Smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video and let me know in the comments down below, have you gotten a Shiny Shadow Ho-Oh yet? Or have you been able to do any of the raids? And have you gotten a Varoom yet? Please let me know in those comments down below. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see more of it, I highly suggest this video over here. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.